Hey guys, welcome to Water Baby Tarot by Bommy Spirit. I'm Rodin. We're going to be doing the March crystal healing video for water signs. So for Cancers, Pisces, and Scorpios, as you guys can see, I'm on the go. <laughs> I am on the road. Um, I'm exhausted. There's also why uh, water signs and fire signs for the crystal healings are coming out in the first couple days of March as opposed to before March, but it is what it is. So I really hope the audio is functioning just fine. We're going to go ahead and get into it. For those who are new to these kind of videos that I do, I use... The Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle Deck to pull cards to see what crystals are recommended for you for the month of March. Then we pull some tarot cards and see why you need those crystals. Now, when it comes to crystals, uh, <laughs> I always like to talk about this in the beginning. Maybe I should just like make a little video about crystals. We all have our own unique vibration. It's really important to purchase crystals in person if you can. If you can't, you got to buy them online. That's totally fine. Nothing wrong with that. I just recommend it so that you can figure out which crystal specifically like jives with your energy specifically. Okay. Also, when it comes to crystals, there are all kinds of crystals that do uh, the same thing that are basically for the same ailment or the same issue that you're having. But of course, like I said, we all vibrate differently, which is why different crystals call to us, even if they're for the same thing. You know what I mean? But also I read the descriptions for the crystals so that you guys can decipher for yourself if you really need these crystals or not. These are very, very general readings. They are not for everybody. So let's go ahead and get into it. This angle is really awkward. It's already bothering me. <laughs> it's already bothering me. Oh, well. Oh, well. I'm on a bed. So whatever. We just got to roll with it. Okay. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Let's see who's going first. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I'm seeing a lot of flowers. I actually do this for all the signs. Water signs. <laughs> I was about to say you've been thirsty, but I don't mean in like, I don't mean in like, you know, the slang term of thirsty. Uh, there's something about like nourishment here, like spiritual nourishment, energetic nourishment. Some of you guys could have, uh, some of you guys could have been feeling like you've been in a weird place, maybe even a rut, or just that you haven't been able to like grow or expand that much recently. Uh, been a little stifled, just not in a really awesome place, not in a fertile place. I'll put it that way. That some of you guys might have not been feeling that some of you guys may not have been feeling like you've been in a very fertile place. Okay, I'm exhausted, guys. I'm so sorry. So my words are all over the place. I'm so tired. I did not sleep that much before driving out, and then I didn't sleep well last night. So I'm running on no sleep. So hang in there with me. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Anyway, so you're 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 about to your thirst is about to be quenched. Okay, you guys are about to be very fertile. I feel like that's for all water signs. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Every time I go to Scorpio, Cancer, you like pull me out of it. Pisces feels like monkey in the middle. This is weird. This is a weird dynamic. Pisces, you might feel like you're in the middle of something. You got caught in the middle of something. Someone around you could be feeling that. You don't want to be in the middle of it. You don't want to be in the middle of it. Cancer, you're trying to get attention. Scorpio, I feel like you don't want attention. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, Scorpio, we're going to go with you. We're going to go with you, Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio. What crystals are good for my Scorpios for the month of March? Well, crystals are good for my Scorpios for the month of March. Sorry, the camera's moving. Like I said, I'm on the bed. Let's see what we got here. So we have Flint. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see that. I tried to pick a good lighting uh, situation. Flint, and then we have Anandalite. Anandalite. I feel like you guys are trying to get your upper chakras all fixated and aligned. Uh, something about your dreams. Focus on your spirituality this time. Focus on your journey at this time. I feel like that's why you're not really wanting attention right now. I feel like you're very focused on just figuring shit out and just trying to chug along. You're focusing on you. Yeah, you don't want anyone's attention. You don't want to deal with other people's energy in the month of March. I can feel it. Crucial. Crucial. You might feel like it's a crucial time for you, Scorpios. And you don't want to be distracted. You don't want to be distracted. Some of you guys are going to be doing loneliness. Sorry. <laughs> this is just coming up some of you guys are going to be dealing with extreme loneliness in March but I think you're going to be fine and it's interesting because like you don't want people's attention but you're dealing with loneliness you realize it's kind of the price of your situation or the price of needing to chug along with the price of needing to focus on you what other crystals are good for the month of March for my Scorpios 
What are the crystals my Scorpios need for the month of March? Oh, and there it is, Tiger's Eye. Money. Some of you guys are focused on your career and your money situation. Yeah, I can feel it. You're feeling lonely. You're feeling like you don't have that social component, but it's kind of necessary right now. You're really focusing on your career, what you want. You're focusing on your journey, your path. It does come with the loneliness factor, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead and read these off. Okay. I hate that it's like glaring out the word flint, flint. Flint stabilizes energy and cuts to the core of issues, clearing blockages and loosening ties. It opens portals to other worlds and hidden aspects of yourself. You are a person of profound inner depths. Don't be afraid to explore this hidden side. It contains treasure beyond knowing together with attitudinal karma. <laughs> Wait, does that really say attitudinal? It really says attitudinal. Attitudinal karma and repressed emotions affecting well-being. Flint connects you to your ancestors, a natural traveler. You know how to negotiate the shamanic world. Uh, to obtain healing insights. Strengthen your boundaries. Cut through confusion to the core of the matter. Soul retrieval is necessary if you left any part of yourself in another life or an abusive experience. An unwelcome visitor from the past can be left behind, but recognize lessons before you move on. Paying attention to energetic boundaries and core strength. Cutting detrimental ties and strengthening your connection to the planet maintains well-being. The frequency of the sun's earthy. It's great for the root chakra and for Scorpios. And for safely exploring other worlds. Like I said, spirituality, you really need to focus on that at this time. It's just what I'm getting. And again, just you. It's really just you and your path. I just feel like you've already shut people out. You've already shut out other distractions. It's just, it's a, it's a month of being in your bubble, Scorpio. And like what I was saying about dreams, you might be getting a lot of answers about yourself or exploring yourself through your dream space, okay? She seems very necessary. Oh, yeah. See, here we go with more spirituality. Anandalite. Damn, hold on. Anandalite. Gently facilitates integration and releases emotional blockages standing in the way of spiritual awakening. It reminds us that consciousness is... I can never say that word. Omniscient? Omniscient. I think it's omniscient. And omnipresent. Seeing all, knowing all. Immerse yourself in the mystical interconnectedness that is cosmic consciousness. You have the potential to live in a completely different dimension of consciousness. Recognize that you previously operated within a narrow band of awareness. Attune to flashes of divine light within your soul. Let feelings of separation fall away. Let that loneliness fall away. It's okay to feel that. And recognize what, that you're feeling it, but to not get hung up on it. Embrace unity. You are here to experience cosmic consciousness. Transform your goals and seek a new direction. You have exceptionally clear sight now. Strip to the bone as the old falls away. Do not despair. New light is infused. When you transform your awareness, humanity experiences a quantum shift. Enlightenment can happen right now. You're a part of everything and everything is a part of you. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. Great for the soul star and the stellar gateway and for becoming a vessel for cosmic consciousness. I'm already very uncomfortable. <laughs> I, I I don't I don't know how people can do like readings on the bed like this for long periods of time. Uh, okay, tiger's eye. This is where I'm feeling the work. This is where I'm feeling the work, money, stability, that sort of thing. I really feel like it's also about like your home, your roots, getting roots. Yeah, like the base of your everyday life. Interesting. The base of your everyday life. Tiger's eye. Symbolizes prosperity and encourages right use of power. It balances your needs with those of others finding solutions. A child of the sun and earth with untold powers, you make your own fate. Assert yourself wisely. Bring hidden talents to the fore and accept your imperfections. There's a tendency towards obsessiveness or becoming spaced out. Ground yourself. Explore your past lives to discover causes of these traits. Uh, deal sensibly with day-to-day day-to-day <laughs> -day reality uh, and face challenges boldly. Unlock your creativity, find prosperity and lasting success. Long journeys and celebrations lie ahead. Your personal power, confidence, and energy are high. Use them wisely. Commit to goals, distinguish between wishful thinking and what you really need. Assist friends to gain their heart's desire. Uh, past lives throw light on current situations. Doing what gives you joy increases your well-being. The frequency of the zone is earthy to high, depending on the color. Great for the solar plexus and third eye. Great for Leos and Cappies and becoming empowered. All right, Scorpio, so honestly, I feel really good so far about your crystals, so in case you missed it, Flint, because for some reason the words do not want to show, Anandalite, and Tiger's Eye, okay? Let's go ahead and pull some cards and see why you need those crystals. 
You know, cause the cosmic card, the cosmic card, <laughs> the cosmic deck is calling to me. Let me see here. Now let's do it like this. There was no desk in the hotel. Okay. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of March? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of March? I just heard executive. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of March? Interesting. Uh, some of you guys might be going into the corporate world when you haven't been a part of it. Others of you are leaving it. Transition in or out of the corporate world from where you are now. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of March? I'm hearing October. Are you already thinking about your birthday, Scorpio? <laughs> I'm hearing October. I think October is going to be a big month for you guys. Or something could have happened in October. I feel like it's about the upcoming October. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of March? Some of you guys are going to be realizing uh, you have skills that you didn't know you had, tapping into that, because you're exploring yourself. You're exploring yourself in a spiritual way, and that's unlocking uh, skills that have just always been there, but you've never accessed them, either just because you've never, you know, had the opportunity to explore that certain skill, which is why you just didn't know you had it, or a part of you kind of knew you had it, but you didn't want to nurture it for some reason or another. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of March? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals? Ooh, we got Princess of Cups. Okay. I like this. Some of you guys are going to be writing a lot. Very creative energy right there. A lot of creative energy. Yeah, Scorpios, do not, do not fight the urge to be creative. I think it's actually a really good time to actually spend some alone time being creative. Yeah, whatever alone time you're, you're engaging in in March, use it to be creative. You know what's interesting? There's things about this photo I'm realizing that I've that I'm noticing I've never n noticed before. <laughs> that I've never noticed before. Like she's got one earring. Where's the other one? She's got one earring. And then she mm. <laughs> And then she's got a ring on her ring finger. And it's the left one. Hmm. I don't want to go there. They're telling me to go there. I don't want to go there. Scorpios, maybe you don't want to go there. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe you don't want to go there. Um, I do feel that some of you guys will be offered some kind of commitment, whether that's romantic or business or otherwise. There's some kind of commitment that's coming in. I feel like you don't want it, though. I feel like you don't want to look at it. I feel like you don't want to pay attention to it. Consider it, Scorpio. I feel like it might help bring out some of your creative juices. It might bring out some of yourself, some uh, parts of yourself you didn't know were there. Okay, that's for some of you. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals? Yeah, I'm like, where's the other earring? That's now that now that's bothering me. Like, where is the other earring? <laughs> Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for March? Why else do my Scorpios need these crystals for March? Why else do my Scorpios need these crystals for March? Yeah, Scorpio, you got you got some offers coming in in March. But you're spending a lot of time alone, so I think you guys don't want to look at them. Some of you guys just don't feel ready for them either. Like if they're work related, you don't feel ready for them. But it's a it's around your creativity. It's around um, bringing out aspects of yourself that you didn't know were there, skills that you didn't know were there. It could be an offer uh, for something you haven't done before, but you're gonna realize very quickly that you're really good at it. But a part of you is like, mm. why else do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of March? 
Oh, come on, Scorpios. Well, thank you. Four of Swords, Libra Energy. Some of you guys might actually get an offer to go on vacation. Just saying. That is coming through really strong. So you guys might get, get an offer to go on vacation. I also am getting more MIA, MIA time. A little bit more alone time here. So you guys are going to be reflecting on your emotions quite a bit in the month of March. Like you don't do that already, Scorpio. Um, it's part of exploring the, the parts of yourself that, that you didn't know were there. Some of this is about your childhood. Some of this is about your childhood. Soul retrieval energy. For some of you, that's soul retrieval energy. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you got some. You have some opportunities coming in, Scorpio, but it seems like as of right now, you're not really paying attention to them. Some of you are even flat out denying them because you're not sure. Because you're not sure you want them. Because you're not sure that you want them, Scorpio. Don't hesitate too long. You might actually really want them. You might actually really want them. Okay, I can't shake that feeling. So just, I'm just saying consider it don't don't be quick to shut things out why else my scorpios need these crystals for the month of march why else my scorpios need these crystals for the month of march some of you guys are reflecting on what you sacrificed don't linger there too long why else my scorpios need these crystals for the month of march yeah, Nine of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. Be very careful here, Scorpio. Don't fall into the mental trap. Don't fall into analysis paralysis. Um, I actually feel like you've gotten rid of a lot of stuff here. I think a lot of you have gotten rid of like a lot of fears, stuff that like just enables your anxiety. And for whatever reason in March, you're reflecting on that. For some of you, it's also seeing your childhood through a new set of eyes. Because you've grown and because you've gotten some rid of your fears and anxiety, you're almost revisiting stuff you've already dealt with. Some of you might physically have to go there, but I feel like it's more emotional reflection, mental reflection. Interesting. It is it is bringing you more insight about yourself. I think that's how you're 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 understanding yourself a little bit more. And like I said, I can, I'm seeing opportunities come in, but it's like you're not looking at them, you're not paying attention to them. Overall, we got nine of pentacles. I like seeing that. Uh, Virgo energy, so very independent, very stable, very confident, feeling really good about yourself. Damn it, I need water. And I didn't think to have have any water with me. <clears throat> Not with me, next to me. But yeah, just be careful, Scorpio. You don't want to miss out opportunities too much here, okay? Yeah, I mean, Scorpio, honestly, it seems really good. It just seems like you're really reflective in March. That you're really reflective. You're not really paying attention to people. Some of you are doing some like childhood exploration stuff you've been already dealt with, and you're seeing it with uh, different eyes, a different perspective. It's giving you more insight onto yourself. Some of you guys are getting offers to actually go away on vacation. But yeah, I it's like you're not wanting to pay attention to the offers because you feel very strong and stable on your own anyway. By the way, two nines. Just saying, two nines completions. But yeah, don't be quick to throw away opportunity, Scorpio. Don't be too quick to do that just because you don't want to deal with people. Okay. All right. So let's see. We've got Pisces or Cancer. I got to readjust. Ah! I thought the camera was going to fall. Don't fall. Hold on. Let me just readjust my legs. Okay. We're fine. Okay. Cancer or Pisces. Cancer or Pisces. Pisces, I feel like your arms are up. Like over here <laughs> like monkey in the middle that's so weird all right pisces i guess we're going with you there's a there's a very uh childlike energy about you very energetic very energetic in the month of march oh happy birthday pisces city march uh pisceans out there wow the camera's moving a lot more than it was before sorry guys uh well crystals are good for my pisceans for the month of march Oh, no, that movement's going to make me nuts. Okay, I got to move my legs back. You know what? I'm just going to pause and get readjusted. Hold on a second. Okay, I think that's a lot more stable. All right, Pisces. Pisces. Well, crystals are good for my Pisceans for the month of March. Again, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Well, crystals are good for my Pisceans for the month of March. Pisces, you're excited, but why do I feel like that's not going to last long? I literally am hearing the phrase, I smell bullshit. 
Like something stinks. Something stinks. I feel like you're finding out about it. Yeah, I don't think this excitement's gonna last very long, Pisces. Sorry, sorry. Let's see what crystals come out. What crystals are good for my Pisceans for the month of March? What crystals are good for my Pisceans for the month of March? I'll just, yeah, there we go. I gotta find a new way to do videos while I'm here. <laughs> what crystals are good for my Pisceans for the month of March? What crystals are good for my Pisceans for the month of March? What crystals are good for my Pisceans for the month of March? Oh, okay. Let's see what we got here. Pink granite, pink granite, let's see what else wants to come out. What other crystals are good for my Pisceans for the month of March? Oh, you guys got anandalite too. All right, so you guys got some co uh, consciousness expansion going on here. So because Scorpio got this as well, damn it. So because Scorpio got this as well, I'm not going to repeat it. So just go back to Scorpio. It should be time stamped if you want the description for this one. Okay, so let's read Pink Granite. Here's the book. Where'd it go? Okay. Pink Granite has the highest uh, paramagnetic resonance of all the stones and creates immense energy. You are an ancient Egyptian with the arcane knowledge that role entails, but you originated in the stars. You understand cycles of birth, death, and rebirth and immortality. You have been involved in ancient power struggles. Cut yourself loose. Become more grounded. Learning experiences occur regularly and serendipitous synchronicities put you in exactly the right place at the right time. Be assertive and make things happen. Events move with surprising speed once you focus your intention. See the whole picture before deciding. Be pragmatic, but don't give your power away. But maintain balance in a relationship. You need diplomacy intact. Lightning can strike twice. If dealing with ancient strife, look at the bigger picture. Everything must pass away. Death precedes transformation and rebirth. The frequency of the stone is earthy and high. Great for all the chakras and for our lightning conductor for positive change. Yeah, Pisces, I feel almost called you Scorpio. Pisces, I feel like you have a surprise coming your way. I gotta adjust again. <laughs> That's how uncomfortable I am. Okay, Pisces. You have a you have a surprise coming, and to be honest with you, I don't feel like it's. I, it just smell. I just keep hearing it smells like bullshit. It smells like bullshit. It smells like bullshit. Uh, someone might you might find out that someone's up to some shit, or that someone wasn't honest about something. Um, either way, it's like you have this high energy about yourself in March, and I think you should use that to your advantage. Even when you find this out, some of you might feel a sense of relief and then be excited about that because it, it basically breaks you away from a situation. I feel like it's breaking out of a very karmic situation, whatever bullshit you smell, okay? All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to do right away. See why you need the crystals. Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of March? Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of March? Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of March? One more. Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of March? We got page of wands. We got some news. <laughs> We've got some news. We have some information coming to you. Hmm. Why else do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of March? Why 
Why else do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of March? Why else do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of March? Let's see here. Ooh. King of Wands. Leo energy could also be fire. Oh, shit. Or air. I just heard water. So I have the Page of Wands uh, and the King of Wands here. I don't feel I don't feel like this is your energy. I almost feel like someone you know is getting news. Or someone you're connected to is getting news. I don't feel like you're the page and I don't feel like you're the king. But I feel like this king is getting information. You might be find you might be finding this out. You might be finding out that someone you know receives some information or receives some news that highly impacts them and in doing so indirectly impacts you. You could also be dealing with someone who has a child. This could usually be like a father-child relationship. It doesn't have to be, but explicitly that is. One of my Pisceans I need these crystals for the month of March. Yeah, I feel like you know someone who's getting news. And I feel like that news really impacts them and it directly impacts you. Impacts you. Why else am I Pisceans in these crystals from the month of March? I might do these on the floor for the next video. What am I Pisceans in these crystals from the month of March? One of my Pisceans, ooh, three of pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. This could be news around work, but usually this is also um, basically saying people are not going to be dealing with each other anymore, that people can't deal with each other, that there's no cooperation going on, rebellious energy. Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of March? Ooh, judgment in reverse. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Overall energy, we have four swords in reverse. Libra energy, Jesus, with the four wands in reverse. Aries energy, two fours right next to each other. Then we have the six of wands, Jupiter and Leo energy. Pisces, eh, I gotta be honest. This seems like information coming out about um, no longer being able to collaborate with someone, uh, be on someone's team, uh, deal with somebody, be on the same page with somebody. It seems like an ending is happening here, especially with Judgment in Reverse. Judgment in Reverse can be a finite ending to something. And then with this overall energy, this is definitely someone walking away from a foundation. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. Pisces, this is information I think that you're finding out about. I think someone receives this information from someone, and it could be about this person's work situation. I, again, I feel like this is energy happening around you, kind of like you're in the middle. You know what I mean? Like you're in the middle, like you're not giving the information, you're not receiving the information. It's just happening all around you. And in doing so, it, and in doing so, excuse me, it impacts you indirectly. There's either a work situation that's ending for someone that you know or someone you're close to, or there's some kind of collaborative effort um, or friendship, relationship even, that's coming to an end here. But someone is, is going away and it seems like they're going away for the right reasons. This is information, again, happening around you. All the while, like you have all this crazy energy and you're coming into some expansion of within yourself. I feel like because of whatever's happening to this person, a lot of you might be freed from this person. And again, you're not you're not the page, you're not the king here. I'm feeling that. But I think whatever's happening to this king, in a way it kind of frees you. In a way it's freeing you. That's what I'm getting. It's freeing you. But it's like whatever is causing this to end is bullshit. There's something there that's like shady. Whatever's causing this ending is shady shit. That's what, yeah, smells like bullshit. Yeah. Whatever's causing this ending for this king in their workspace, a friend, um, a social network, um, a relationship even, it's because of deceitful shit. It's because of shady shit. Smells like bullshit, right? But them getting out of this or them having this end for them is freeing you. And you're excited about that. And you're going to expand and you're going to grow because of that. This person might have been holding you back in a lot of ways and you didn't even realize it. But yeah, that's what I'm getting for you, Pisces. Okay, who's left?
Cancer. <laughs> I didn't forget about you, Cancer. Only for a minute. <laughs> Only for a minute did I actually forget about you guys. Okay, Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Well, crystals are good for my Cancers for March. You want to talk sense into somebody. This is interesting. You want to talk to someone. You want to talk sense into them. You want someone to understand. You want someone to understand. You want someone to get clarity on a situation, but you feel like they just don't get it or they don't want to get it, almost like they're in denial. Well, crystals are good for my cancers for the month of March. Yeah, I feel like you're, you're really wanting to grab someone's attention, but it's not working. Yeah, but it's not working. Well, crystals are good for my cancers for the month of March. Well, crystals are good for my cancers for the month of March. You just want them to understand. That's it. Like, you just want them to get it. Oh, now you feel forceful, Cancer. <laughs> now you're feeling forceful. You just want them to get it. You just want them to understand. Just, you just want them to get it. <laughs> okay, Cancer. Let's see. We've got turquoise. Okay. And a zestulite. Oh. All right. So someone, someone's living the good life. I can feel that. Someone's living the good life here. Why does it feel like there's ego? I'm feeling like someone's living the good life or wants to live the good life and there's an ego problem happening here. What other crystals are good for my cancers for the month of March? Keep in mind, cancer, this could be happening in and around you. It doesn't have to be you exactly. Come on. <laughs> literally, literally losing the cards in the sheets. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. What other crystals are good for my cancers for the month of March? Okay. Polychrome Jasper just came out. Oh, and Citrine. Yeah. Someone's, someone's really coming into some amazing stuff here. So we have Polychrome Jasper and Citrine that just came out here. A lot of solar and sacral energy. Yeah, a lot of creating. I'm feeling I'm feeling money. Like, I keep wanting to do this. I keep wanting to do this. Uh, feeling money. I'm feeling a lot of work going on. Wealth. I did just hear wealth. This could even be in the form of health. Someone could have just, like, gotten a really good clean bill of health or coming into a really good health status. I feel like with all this, there's so much creation around you, Cancer, but at the same time, it's like there's there's someone living the good life or wanting to live the good life. There's an ego problem that's causing some tension within a dynamic or causing tension within a situation. And Cancer, you're frustrated. You're getting to the point where you're frustrated and you just want someone to get it. You just want someone to understand, but you feel like they don't really see reality or they don't want to. They don't really want to. Yeah, you think this person's in denial. You might be the one who's creating, 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 and you're on this train of creation. And the person around you or people around you just don't get it. They just don't get it. They just don't get it. That's kind of how this feels. So let's go ahead and read these off. Okay. Turquoise. A copper based stone attracting good fortune since antiquity, turquoise is popular for protective amulets. Sacred to Hathor, which is Venus, and to Buddha, a linked earth and sky and a potent love charm. Your pathway is one of self realization. Qualities you cultivate now drive your spiritual evolution forward, draw on your karmic wisdom and past life skills, release vows that no longer serve you, and speak what used to be unspeakable. Watch your health and avoid polluted environments. Brilliant success and happiness are coming. Fortune favors you. You navigate the way forward with sure-footed confidence, but watch your personal safety and deal with problems immediately. Good friends accompany you. You are in the spotlight and others rely on you. Your true riches lie not in the uh, bank, but in your heart. The frequency of the stone's medium to high, great for the throat and third eye, and for Scorpios, Sagis, and Pisceans, and attuning to inner riches. Okay, I like that. Yeah, Cancer, I feel like something about health is going to be really highlighted in March for you. Okay. A zestulite. A zestulites are imbued with immense spiritual energy and information for guidance and insight. They are here to help Earth ascend to a higher expression of consciousness. You are a being of light here to help Earth evolve. Although you need to rise above mundane concerns, keep your feet on the ground and deal with the everyday. Too much emphasis on sweetness and light leads to ignoring your shadow energies, which become inauthentic and lethal. 
niceness if not acknowledged and, and integrated. Stay real, leave your ego behind. You are here to represent spiritual light on earth and help it evolve. Make yourself heard. A project is successful no matter what. Avoid becoming impractical and having too high an opinion of yourself to the detriment of others. Retain your humility. Recognizing that every soul is precious ensures you remain in cosmic harmony. The frequency of the stones is exceptionally high. Great for all the chakras, and, but best for the crown and for assisting the earth to evolve. Okay, I just got really hot and I need some water. Okay, so give me a second. I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I just decided to change up the camera angle since I was up a lot better. I just took a chair and I'm just going to be on the edge of the bed. <laughs> Not like you need to know, but I finally feel comfortable. All right, so let's go ahead and finish reading these off. Polychrome Jasper. Polychrome Jasper is a shaman stone that assists with, with traveling between worlds, offering protection while you travel. It helps you to remember why you are living on Earth. You belong to a greater group, but in a but be it a family or a clan, if you feel isolated, reach out to others of strength rather than neediness. The stone offers you security. For companionship, choose an animal ally. Ground your efforts in the practical, everyday world. You have the gift of meditation and see all sides of an issue. Big changes are in the offing. Concentrate on practical outcomes. Be down to earth, but pay attention to dreams. Balance your emotional energies and nurture yourself to find joy. Find your power ally and stay under its protection and guidance. Give assistance to others who seek freedom. Guard against giving away your power. Disease arises out of ancestral disease carried in DNA. Healing and forgiveness sent down your family line replaces with well-being. The frequency of the stone is earthy. Great for the earth star and the soma. Great for Leos, Libras, Aquas, and integration and reconnection here. Okay? Hold on. All right, that's better. So I feel like the stone's going to really help you guys ground the situation that you're finding yourselves in because I feel like, like I said, you're creating, you're creating, you're creating, and there's some ego kind of like kaflumbling things. You're still going to end up creating whatever it is you want to create, but you don't want to stop your flow. It's really bringing in a lot of great things for you, but I feel like someone or even maybe you're a little shadowy part of yourself is getting in the way a little bit. I feel like it's just going to help you ground the situation. And if you feel like you need to reach out to people to help you, you can totally do that. But this will also help you do it from a better place. Not like a, not like a shadowy, desperate place. Like a, hey, this isn't going right. I just want to know your thoughts as opposed to talking shit about somebody or gossiping. You know what I mean? Okay. All right, Citrine. A stone of joy and abundance, citrine helps you to interact creatively with the world. It promotes inner calm. You spend too much time worrying about home, family, and finances. Remember, you are an abundant being who manifests what you need. You are an innocent, wise child who yearns to play. Uh, joyful play creates a wonderful world. <laughs> they said wonder and full, like a full cup. It's funny. Uh, be grateful for you are blessed. Accept constructive criticism. Become emotionally balanced, letting feelings flow naturally. Take time out for joyful play. Self-regard heals a damaged child. Abundance is all around you. You attract success and prosperity. So stop worrying, be optimistic, and allow life to happen. Trust your intuition and perception. Consult the wise child within. Your thoughts on the bigger picture are correct. If there is family discord, harmony is restored through praise. True abundance comes from within. If you nurture your desires, you will bring joy to your wise child self. The frequency of the stone is high. Um, great for all the chakras, Aries, Geminis, Leos, and Libras, and embodying abundance. All right, Cancer. So let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards. Like I said, you got the abundance train going your way because you're creating and you're using that. You're on that train. You're not going to stop. But I do feel this this need to like desperately talk to somebody. I don't like the word desperate and I don't mean it in a bad way. It's not a, it's not a judgment. It's really just the best word to describe the energy that I'm feeling from you. It's that like, I need to talk to them. I need them to understand. I need them to understand. I need them to understand. They need to understand. They need to have the clarity on this. I just want them to get it. I just need them to get what I'm doing or I just need them to get me. You know, it's, it's that kind of a, that kind of a pulling that you have, that you're, exhibiting okay all right i thought i was comfortable and i lied <laughs> i lied ah uh, uh, okay that's better a little bit um we're gonna do radiant wise why do my cancers need these crystals why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of March. Why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of March? Okay. 
Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Five of Wands. Leo energy, and then we've got a Peeker. Five of Cups in reverse. This is from a different deck. I don't know how that got in here. I just want to make sure. So I'm not going to keep it, but I just want to show you Five of Cups in reverse here. I think someone feels like they're losing you, Cancer. There's an energy that's like someone's creating and they're busy. I do feel like that's you. God, the lighting in this situation is horrible. Uh, I do feel like that's you. And someone feels like they've lost you or that they're losing you. And it's causing a lot of tension. It's causing a lot of fighting. Okay? And I think you just want them to understand why you're doing what you're doing. Why else do my Cancers need these crystals? Why else do my Cancers need these crystals for the month of March? Why else do my Cancers need these crystals for the month of March? Thank you. God, that Four of Swords likes to come out for everybody. Libra energy. Is there anything moving into Libra? There shouldn't be. No, there's not. There's not. That's interesting that this card keeps coming up. Uh, Libra energy. Yeah, it's not giving you any peace. It's actually very much inhibiting you. Cancer, all of this fighting and tension. And it's getting you so much more frustrated that it's like, it's just the arguing of, I need you to get it, I need you to get it, I need you to get it, and they're not getting it. And that's just going to mess up your flow. Why else do my Cancers need these crystals for the month of March? Why else do my Cancers need these crystals for the month of March? Why else do my Cancers need these crystals for the month of March? Page of Pentacles just came out. So reflection. Yeah, you're focused on creation. You're focused on money. Bills. I did just hear bills. Bills. Some of you guys got some new big bills that you're paying attention to. New ideas that's going to bring you more money. That's also what you guys are working on. Yeah. New ideas that's going to bring you more money. Why? I I keep feeling like you feel that you're getting attacked. I don't know if you're actually getting attacked or if you just feel that way because it's something you're excited about. It's something you're ready to put a lot of effort into and people around you just don't get it or one person just doesn't get it. And it's almost like you feel like they're attacking you. Just watch that cancer because I don't think they actually are attacking you. I think it just feels that way. Okay. Because it's important to you. Why else do my cancers need these crystals? I'm at the March. Let's see. Yeah, King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy could also be earth or air. You might be accused of, ooh. Okay, well, we're, we'll address that in a minute. Uh, you might be getting accused here, Cancer, of being too focused on your money, being too focused on work, being even greedy. You might be accused of that. I'm saying accused because, again, I don't think you actually are. It's all about perception. It seems like perceptions are really misconstrued at this time for you, Cancer. Because, yeah, you just want the people or, around you or the, or one person in particular to understand what you're doing and understand how beneficial it is what you're doing and what it's bringing you. But people just don't get it. They just don't get it. And they're giving you so much grief for it. They're not letting you get any um, moments rest with it. And it might be interrupting your flow. And you're like, these are really new ideas for you or new um, income streams for you. But again, it's like it's throwing you off your flow because they're giving you grief. And at the same time, you're getting accused of doing it for the wrong reasons. Overall energy, we've got five of cups. Scorpionic energy. Yeah, I feel like the people who are putting up a fight or person who's putting up a fight, they feel like they're losing you. Yeah, it's like I feel like they feel the loss. I don't think you're feeling it. I think they feel the loss. It might be making you feel guilty. It might be making you feel guilty, but more agitated than guilty. Yeah, more agitated than guilty. Um, but they feel like they're losing you to your new whatever your newness is okay it's it's all misconstrued i gotta be honest i feel like both parties yourself included are not really seeing uh the reality of it like i don't think they're attacking you even though you feel attacked they're just kind of freaking out they're just worried 
Um, maybe even, maybe even they're being a little selfish. Maybe they're like, well, if cancer does this and cancer can't do this for me, it could be coming from a selfish place, but I don't feel like they're attacking you. I just, I really want to make that clear. I don't feel like they're attacking you, but also they're not seeing what it's going to be, be doing for you, whatever new thing you're going to be doing. And they need to see that. And then you need to also see that they're not attacking you. Okay. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that with all my little <laughs> changes during the channel, all my little camera rearrangements during the video i i'm so sorry about that guys i like i need to find a better way to do videos while i'm here i'm only gonna be here for a couple more days but i know i'm behind so it is what it is but i hope you guys did enjoy that don't forget to check out um vimeo and patreon as well patreon i'll be i'll be doing the last uh, couple monthlies hopefully in the next few days um if i get a better com more comfortable recording situation while I'm here. Okay. All right, guys, I will see you later. Have a good night and have a good month. Okay. Namaste.